Today we'll be making an agamograph. What is an agamograph? Well, this is it right here. It's where you can see different images when looking at it from different angles. So if you look at it from this way, you'll see one image. And if you look at it from this way, you'll see another image. Let's get started. Here's what we need. Two sheets of white paper, eight and a half by 11 inches, markers, crayons, pencil crayons, scissors, glue stick, pencil, eraser, and a ruler that has the units inches on it. The unit should be on the ruler if you're not too sure. So mine is right here. We are going to take the eight and a half by 11 paper and fold it in half this way. Make sure the sides and corners line up and crease at the fold. Open it up and cut along the fold. You can use your scissors or you can carefully rip it in half like this. Once, you're done, once you've done that, do it to the other eight and a half by 11 paper so that you'll end up with four half sheets that look like this. Once you've cut both papers in half, put three of them aside. Have one in front of you in a vertical position like this. Next, take a ruler and have, the left, and have it on the left side of the paper with the unit inches beside the paper. Make sure the top of the paper is aligned with zero. So my zero mark on the ruler is at this line over here, not at the top of the ruler. With your pencil, you're carefully going to mark every inch, so where the numbers are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move the ruler across to the right side like this. And again, line the top of the paper where the zero mark is and do the exact same thing. Mark every inch. Turn your paper horizontal with the ruler. You're going to connect the top mark with the bottom mark, creating a straight line. Once you're, once you're done, you notice that the last piece over here is a little smaller than the rest. So put a little squiggly line like this or any squiggle mark. Put the paper inside and do the exact same thing for the other three sheets of paper. So it will look something like this. Put two of them aside. Along the skinnier rectangle where we put the squib woolly line, write the word glue on both sheets. So. Now we're gonna make accordion folds along the pencil line. So this is the accordion fold that we're gonna be making. We will do this one at a time. So have your paper in a vertical position with the word glue on top. To fold on this line, we are, you're carefully going to use the edge of the paper here and line it with this pencil mark, so the second pencil mark. Flip it over to the back and carefully fold on the pencil mark. So this line right here, if you can see it, we're going to fold along that line. Now 
then flip it to the front again and again have this edge fold on to this line or well, line up along this line sorry not fold line up along this line you're going to flip it over to the back and do the exact same thing keep going until you get to the top Do the exact same thing to the other sheet that says glue. Make sure the paper is vertical again with the word glue on top. When you're done, it should look something like this. Once you are done that, have both sheets horizontal with the word glue facing each other. Use your glue stick and add glue to the part that says glue. We're gonna be sticking them together. So we're going to carefully stick one on top of the other like this and then we can fold it back. Now we are going to write alternating numbers and letters in each of these rectangular sections. The first rectangle on the left side we're going to write 1. The one beside it we are going to write the letter A. Beside that we're going to write 2, then B, 3, C, 4, D, 5, E, 6, F, 7, G, 8, H. Once you have done this, put this to the side and grab the other two sheets of paper. Find the thin rectangles which is what where you should have put your scribble marks. And with your scissors, cut along the line. We will be discarding these two pieces. On one sheet of paper, we are going to write 1 through 8 from right to left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. On the other sheet of paper, we're going to write the letters 8 through F from right to left. So, let's see. Now here's the fun part. Flip both sheets over and start drawing. You can draw whatever you like. You can draw your favorite animal, a place you want to visit, or a place you miss, such as the library or park close to home. This is your time to be creative. So here are two pictures I drew and colored. So I drew a rainbow and I drew one with random patterns. Once you're done, flip both pictures over so that you can see the lines and the numbers and letters. With scissors, you're going to cut on the lines. Do it for both. Make sure you have a separate pile for numbers and separate piles for letters. Here's my piles with the numbers and here's my pile with the letters. Bring back the template you created earlier. If the glue isn't sticking together here, you can add a piece of tape to hold the template together. Now we're going to match the numbers from the back of the picture to the template and then glue them on. Make sure all the strips are all right side up before you glue them down. So the 8 will go with the 8, 7, Now 
Now I'm going to glue them. Do the same with the letters. Match the strips with the template and then glue them on. Carefully refold the template and press everything together. Open it up, have it stand up, and look at your drawings from different angles. That's it. You've made your own agamograph. I hope you enjoyed today's Fun with STEM program. Check back soon for more Toronto Public Library STEM programs at home. Music